the last video we installed the super singles since then uh, the cab has gone to the body shop uh, the whole cab has been repainted uh, rust taken care of there was some damage on the passenger door that was taken care of so I've got nice fresh paint on the cab uh, the really big change is right here uh, this is a custom 86 gallon diesel tank the battery box was removed the old tank was removed uh, batteries were relocated right here this will have a flatbed and there'll be an access panel right here to access the batteries but the reason for today's video is that my Viair onboard air compressor system has arrived and we are going to look to see where we can get this installed my hope is that I can work either in this area or this area. Um, I would like to keep this here uh, free right now uh, because there's some other stuff that's going on. This rat's nest of wiring which came on the truck is going to be removed. Uh, that is all going into a waterproof, no, it's not all going in. Uh, I'm going to get rid of most of that uh, and install a waterproof housing uh, where the lights for the flatbed and the habitat box will all be connected together um, and yeah so let's get at it right over there is the box from uh, Viair and I do want to mention um, they are a sponsor um, but I came to know Viair when I started looking around for an onboard air compressor system for this truck uh, I wanted a way to not only inflate these 37 tires, uh, and I do have, uh, through Lightning Air, I do have a um, four tire inflation deflation kit uh, that will go on here as well. And I needed a system that was going to be able to inflate all of these tires uh, and run air tools because uh, I do travel around doing construction work and I wanted the ability to be able to run air tools without having to pull out my air compressor when I'm doing small jobs or if I'm working on the truck uh, or needing to uh, do any kind of work um, where I just needed air temporarily. Um, so I did want a system that I could run air tools on as well as power or, or air up the tires and then the last one uh, eventually I'll have air lockers on here so I want to be able to run that as well uh, so I wanted a, a pretty robust system uh, and what they call a hundred percent duty cycle which means that is going to be able to run non-stop uh, and what I found with some of the other brands where their duty cycles were much lower uh, they were designed for inflating a tire, but that would be it. Um, and then the long-term reviews weren't that great on them. And then I stumbled upon Viair, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they, uh, it's Viair Corp, and they build air compressor systems for everything. Uh, but they do onboard air compressor systems for trucks that are running full air tools out of them so service trucks and so forth uh, they have systems designed for off-roading or inflating our tires when we have to air them down uh, they have portable air compressor systems uh, and all the long-term reviews that i found were fantastic uh, people who had them swore by them forever and uh, so i reached out to them and they are uh, sponsoring me with this truck build um, and providing me this air system. Uh, so just wanted that as full disclosure. And we are going to get at it, uh, unboxing the system, seeing what we have, and then figuring out where we can mount it on this frame. Okay, so we're gonna get to unboxing this and see what uh, we have here. Tank. 
going to be the largest component. It's a two and a half gallon air tank. I have all kinds of fun little stuff here. We have the uh, digital tire inflation gun. Gauge kit, which goes inside the truck. Uh, that'll let me know what, where my pressure is. 30 feet of hose. I'll probably end up getting longer than that. And then the main system. This is basically the hardware box. So we do have a air down gauge, relay, inline pressure regulator. So this is going to have to be mounted. Um, I'll probably end up mounting this in one of my toolboxes. Uh, so that will be after the, the body is actually installed. And then a whole bunch of various fittings. I think that's a, we've got a switch in there. Uh, and because of my install, I might end up needing uh, additional fittings for what I'm looking to do because this is what makes everything else matter. This is the twin compressor system. Supply hoses. I don't know if you can see it on here, uh, but this is a Generation 2 dual 485C uh, compressor system. Uh, it is, I believe, the largest one they make for this application, uh, which is uh, occasionally running air tools um, and being able to fully inflate uh, four 37 inch tires. Um, and that's all I needed was to be able to run air tools uh, occasionally uh, and that's not meaning uh, occasionally like it's a limited use but uh, they make larger systems if you are running a service truck where you need to run air tools all day long uh, it's a hundred percent duty cycle so this is running this has the ability to run continuously when it's calling for air uh, and that was the main thing with a lot of other systems is they don't have that ability uh, this unit is that I'm holding right now is extremely heavy. Uh, we have two of them, uh, and we are going to figure out where I can get these mounted up.